Hello and welcome to yet another lecture on permutations and combinations. In our previous lecture, we looked at the number of ways of dividing uh, identical objects into a set of groups and we showed that uh, the number of ways of dividing n identical objects into r groups is given by n plus r minus 1 choose r minus 1 if empty groups are allowed and it equals n minus 1 choose r minus 1 if empty groups are not allowed. So in this lecture, we will look at some example applications of results of this flavor. So first example asks you to find the number of ways of distributing five identical balls into three boxes so that no box is empty. So it asks you to find the number of ways distributing five identical balls into three boxes so that no box is empty. And this is nothing but the number of ways of dividing five identical objects into three groups uh, so that no group is empty. And so you can directly use the result uh, which we derived earlier. And this is nothing but phi minus 1, c3 minus 1, which turns out to be 6. So this can be uh, directly derived using a previous uh, uh, result which we've shown in our previous lecture. So another way to think about this problem is sup suppose b1 is the number of uh, balls in box 1, b2 is the number of balls in box 2, b3 is the number of balls in box 3. We want b1 plus b2 plus b3 to be equal to 5 since we want to divide these uh, 5 uh, objects, 5 identical objects into these 3 groups. And so we want the solution of this system of equations. But we also have the condition that no box is empty. So we need uh, bj to be greater than or equal to 1 for all j. So the solution of the system of equations, which you can uh, derive using a generating function based approach, uh, should also give you the result 6. So let's look at a second example. It asks you to find the number of ways of distributing 10 identical balls into three boxes so that each box contains at least two balls and at most four balls. So you want to distribute 10 identical balls into three boxes, which is nothing but distributing or uh, dividing 10 identical objects into three groups so that each group contains at least two objects and at most four objects. In our previous lecture, we've seen an expression for exactly this uh, computation. And it turns out to be the coefficient of x power 10 in x square plus x cube plus x power 4 the whole cube. Where the exponents of x in this inner term correspond to the number of balls which can be uh, placed in each box. So you can either place 2, 3, or 4 balls in each box. And the exponent 3 corresponds to the number of boxes uh, in which you can distribute these balls into. And so the coefficient of x bar 10 in this result, um, which for which you can obtain a closed sum expression either using the binomial theorem for negative indices or uh, as we've done in our previous lecture, or you can just expand this term straight away to find out the coefficient of x bar 10, and that should give you the result you desire. So let's look at a third example. This example states that a box contains four red balls three black balls, two white balls, 
and one yellow ball. In how many ways can we select four out of the ten balls? Assuming balls of the same color are identical. So you have 10 balls out of which 4 are red, 3 are black, 2 are white and 1 yellow. We want to find the number of ways in which we can select 4 out of these 10 balls. Uh, so assuming that balls of the same color are identical. So we have four identical red balls, three identical black balls, two identical white balls, and one yellow ball. So you can approach this problem in two ways. Um, uh, looking at generating functions, the way to approach this is going to be let r be the number of red balls, let b the, b be the number of black balls, let w be the number of white balls, and uh, y be the number of yellow balls. So we want the sum to be equal to four, since we want to choose four balls. But we also have the restriction that r can be uh, r has to be at least zero and at most four. Uh, b has to be at least zero and at most three. Uh, w has to be at least zero and at most two, and y has to be at least zero and at most one. So this we want to find the number of solutions to this equation, assuming uh, these bounds on the individual uh, terms. So you can do this using generating functions as follows. By noting that this, uh, the number of solutions of this system of equations and inequalities is given by the coefficient of x power 4 in the expansion of x power 0 plus x power 1 and so on till x power 4 times x power 0 plus x power 1 and so on till x cubed times x power 0 plus x power 1 plus x square times x power 0 plus x power 1. So the coefficient of x power 4 uh, in this expansion should give you uh, the number of uh, ways of selecting 4 balls from these 10 balls. And the explanation is the first term, the exponents correspond to the number of red balls you choose. In the second term, the exponent corresponds to the number of uh, black balls you choose. In the third term, the exponent corresponds to the number of white balls you choose. And in the final term, the exponent corresponds to the number of yellow balls you choose. So you can, com you can compute the result by computing the coefficient of x power 4 in this expansion uh, using the binomial theorem for negative indices or just by expanding this uh, expression. I leave that as an exercise to the viewer. A second approach which can be taken is um, by enumeration. So the first case in for choosing four uh, balls out of these 10 balls is by choosing four balls of the same color. And since there is only one color of which you can find four balls, which is red in this case, uh, this can be done only in one way. So the second case is when you choose three balls of color one and one ball of color two. So to choose three balls of a color, you know that you have two choices. Uh, you have two colors which have three, uh, at least three balls. Those are red and black. And so you can either choose red or black to choose three balls from. So that can be done in two ways. And you, ha you have to choose one ball of a different color. and once you choose either red or black, you have three remaining colors, each of which contains at least one ball. And so that can be done in three ways. And this gives you six. Third case is you choose two balls of color one and two balls of color two. So you want to choose two balls of two different colors. And note that there are three colors which contain at least two balls. And so you want to choose two of those colors, and that can be done in three choose two ways, which is nothing but three. 
So this is case three. Case four uh, is when you choose two balls of color one, one ball of color two, and one ball of color three. So once again, uh, there are three colors uh, which have at least two balls. Um, so you can choose two balls of a color in three choose one ways. So you choose one of those three colors. And from the remaining three colors, you have to choose two colors. And so that can be done three choose two ways. And so this result is going to be nine. In case five, you want to choose four balls of different colors. And since they, we have only four colors, that can be done precisely in one way. And so the total number of ways, since we've enumerated all different combinations, is just the sum of these uh, different cases. So that gives us 1 plus 6, which is 7, plus 3, 10, plus 9, 19, plus 1, 20. So in total, we have 20 different ways of choosing four balls uh, from this group of balls. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed watching it. In our next lecture, we will consider some uh, example problems of the application of permutations and combinations. I thank you for your attention.